Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at some artwork from the Ming Dynasty and I'm going to show you how to create a Chinese dragon. So to get started you're going to need your drawing paper and a pencil and probably an eraser as well. So you're going to start off by drawing a circle for the head and you want to make sure you leave enough room for the dragon's body so your head is going to be all the way over here at the side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create kind of a, a rectangle shape in the center that comes in the middle of the circle. And then you're going to create another rectangle shape down here. And then we can draw a line where we want our body to go. And that's going to help us set up how big we want the body to be. So to focus on the face, um, what I'm going to do is now curve up a little bit where the nose would be. And then I'm going to come back down. And now I'm going to take it in, follow that line. And I'm going to curve and drop down a little bit and come back out. And now this is going to come back at an angle and come in. And we're going to curve this all the way back here. And now the nose can come in. And this will also connect here. <clears throat> so now we have the beginnings of our nose. In this little dip here, I'm going to add my eye. So I'm just making an arch where the eye would be. And then a little curve and then a line. So now you can see where my eye is really starting to come to life. Off the side here, I'm going to draw my ear. So I'm going to erase a little bit where my ear is going to go. Draw a curved line. And then kind of like a triangle. And then another little line that goes to the point of that triangle. And there's my ear. Now here is going to be part of the head. I'm just going to mark that off. And then down here is also going to be part of the dragon's head. So I'm just marking in these areas. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the mouth area. I'm going to go ahead and draw another line here for a lip. And I'm going to follow this line down here too. And I'm going to connect them. So now I have kind of a lip. Now I can go ahead and draw the teeth. The teeth, I'm just making little zigzags. And then I made a bigger zigzag. Where I wanted some larger teeth. And I'm just going to do a couple on the bottom. There. Now I can go ahead and add some detail. I'm just making some wavy lines. And there's a circle, well, an oval for the nostril. And then I'm going to do a half circle over here because that's where the other side of the nostril is going to be. Now, typically, Chinese dragons have whiskers. So then I can go and draw two wavy lines. However long you want your whiskers to be. And now I'm going to work on the head. Now for the head here, I'm going to draw some flames. So my flames are going to be um, like zigzag lines. And they're just going to follow the curve of the um, circle that I made. This, one, this row is going to be um, a little bit smaller. And it's going to connect all the way back down to the ear. And then my next set is going to curve and follow that circle and meet there. <clears throat> and now down here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm making these um, look like shark fins almost. They're just triangles. They're just kind of zigzag lines. 
and they're gonna curve and meet at the ear. And now I'm going to finish the back of the head. And this is where my body's gonna start. This is where the top of my body's gonna start here. And then the other part is gonna come back up here, kind of where the jaw is. And I can start my body here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and finish, finish up, up here. And I'm just gonna draw kind of longer flames. So these are flames and they're, I'm gonna progressively get a little bit longer. And these, again, are just bigger, wavy lines. And I'm going to also work down here, because usually Chinese dragons have beards as well. And noticing varying the different sizes. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, some of them are fatter, some of them are skinnier. And again, they're all going to work together and they're meeting and in, in, in forming a circle here. <clears throat> now I have this ear. Let's go ahead and add the other ear. So it's kind of just like another little triangle and that's the other part of the ear. Now also Chinese dragons have antlers. So if you choose to put antlers in here, that works too. So I'm going to put the antler right up here and I'm going to it's going to come out. You can make this very simple and have it like two rectangles coming off of each other. And notice I just did one big long rectangle and then a smaller rectangle coming off of it. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my body. So I started up here. I'm going to come all the way down. I'm going to curve it however I want. I'm just going to follow that line that I had made. And finish out the tail. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, it's, if you want, make sure you can, um, if you have a ruler, and you can measure the thickness between the body periodically to make sure that it stays evenly spaced apart. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm actually going to make this piece a little bit bigger. And as I get towards the end of my body, the tail, it's, yeah, I do want it to taper off and meet to a point like that. Okay. <clears throat> then what I can do is go ahead and add the flames along the back. So it has kind of spikes or flames going on. So again, these are just going to come along the spine here. And again, I'm just going along the edge of the back that I just made. And these are just kind of wavy lines. And again, you want some to be shorter, some to be longer. And then at the bottom here, um, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker so it looks like, because this is kind of like a fire type dragon. Um, so I'm just making the, the flames come off here. <clears throat> so because it's getting a little busy here, what I'm going to do is erase that center line that I made. So what I have here is an outline. Then I'm going to go ahead and in here draw another line that curves all the way around. And this is going to be the stomach. And this is going to taper off too. 
Now I can go ahead and add some lines. This is going to show the difference between the stomach and the side of the body. And now I need some legs. <clears throat> you can choose to have two front legs or four legs. Um, but for legs, what I'm going to do, the front leg, the leg that's in front, you're going to start it in the body. So make sure you're drawing all this in pencil. And for a leg, you're going to have like a rectangle here. And then another rectangle comes directly off of this. Okay. And then another rectangle is coming off of that. You didn't see that. Let me try that again. So you have a rectangle here and it's in the body. And then, the, and then it's going to bend. So we have another rectangle here. And then we're going to draw the foot. So it's coming out here. So one, two, three rectangles. And then we're going to draw the claws. And they're going to go one and two. I'm running out of space here. So I'm connecting them like this. And then I'm going to draw the third one back here. And then if I want, I can add some claws, which are just little triangles. And you can't see the last one, it's going to be off the page. <clears throat> but then what I would do is go ahead and in the inside here, erase this part. And make it a lot more smooth. Okay, and that's how you're going to draw a leg. And the other leg is going to come off and it's going to be behind. So you're not going to see all of it. So what I would do is draw your rectangle. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle off of that. Okay, and then the same kind of claws here. And you can erase these inside parts and make this a lot more fluid. <clears throat> if you want to do some designs, that's fine on the edge here. And then if you want to add back legs, we can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do that for you. So this back leg again is in the front. It's facing closer to you, so it's going to cover part of the body up. So all I'm going to do is draw a rectangle here. And then another rectangle here. And then my foot is going to curve and come back. And then another one on the inside here. I can add my toes, <clears throat> my claws. Then I can go ahead and raise this line and that line. So the leg is now in front of the body. I'd probably make that skinnier, but and I can smooth those out, make them a little bit more round. And then my back leg here, I'm going to have my, it's going to be behind the body. So it's going to start from right back here. I'm just drawing a rectangle and then another rectangle. And I'm not going to fit this whole one in here. But again, it's just like how I did all of the other ones. And then I can go ahead and erase in here. And then again, add my detail if I want. <clears throat> and there we have our dragon. Um, what I would do is add some sort of detail, whether that's, you know, spikes, um, or scales or something to give it um, some some more definitely some more detail um, and then um, the next thing that I would do is go and outline everything in Sharpie so it really pops 
And then I'm going to show you um, in the next video how to blend some colors using crayons or oil pastels.